tire. Don't stand me up, girl. I need to talk to you, now. I'm running for the Nice Guy of the Year award over here. Can I take the fifth on that? And what is this, anyway? Getting bored at the club, Sage? Hmm? Little pet project to while away the wee hours? Did you come here to threaten me, Macy, or did you just come to shoot the piece? I'm still missing that file. Well, tell your secretary. Are you trying to tell me that you don't know anything about it, Sage? Okay, well, looks like we've been playing phone tag, so I guess uh, you're it. I'll catch you later, man. Hey, Cap. What happened with the tiger game? That's what I'd like to know. She never showed. I know, you're getting heat from the mayor's office to wrap this up. Last thing his honor wants is a string of dead working girls on the books when his re-election campaign kicks in. I know how that goes. How about your dad? He's still trying to get you down there to Miami? Ah, no can do, Cap. Left too much baggage behind. Uh huh. Baggage like that, Tommy, you check it into a locker. It's still gonna burn a hole in your heart. Where's my copy on the dead hooker? Not a Harry. Cops put a lid on it. <clears throat> on the commish. Well, lean some more and milk this baby into a headline. Harry, the hooker is back page compared to what's unraveling in the Hamilton story. Look, I'm not going to tell you again. Hamilton is on your time. On company time, I want a line on the hooker and I want it on my desk at the end of the day. Are we clear, Crystal? Take an aspirin so you don't have a stroke. Oh, yeah. So pretty. So pretty. I'm telling you boys, we're gonna take North Miami Beach High this year and make them look like a three ring circus. Those guys are gonna be flopping around like clowns. Great. Like the second string power forward gets any game time when this guy's around. Hey, don't worry about it, Raider. Culture puts you in when we're ahead by 20. It is like last season. I only get to play when it's a blowout game. Geez, T, it's worse than before. Now that coach is doing your mom, you got a better shot at Waterboy. What'd you say? Hey, come on, man, it's cool. Hell, your mom's a hottie, even I would- Hey, 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 shut the hell up, Raider, or you're gonna get hurt, all right?
last night. At the freaking mall, okay? You wanna keep your beep on? I had a new client I wanna set up with you. You still owe me two bills from the last one. You're not good for that, okay? Well, why don't you show me a little team spirit, huh? Stick around, I might have a little something for you. Something a little extra. Huh? Come on, honey, smile. Hmm? I want to talk to you about the conversation we had the other night. You uh, might want to take a look at those to make sure your sketches weren't damaged. With you in striking range? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I can be a little lethal. Huh? I'm getting that definite impression. I'm Lucas, by the way. I'm Gabby. Well, Gabby, I'm thinking that I need to upgrade my original offer. What offer? Instead of coffee, what would you say to chocolate chip ice cream sundaes? Paranoia doesn't become you, Macy. Now why would you go and say something like that? We're a team. Said the lion to the lamb. We are working toward a common goal. And that would be? The whole enchilada, baby. Me, with C-E-O, right after my name. Wet dreams, Macy. Come on. You right there beside me? I mean, that is what you want, isn't it? I mean, that's what turns you on. Otherwise, what, you'd be some invisible house frost somewhere flipping burgers for a mess of rugrats? No. Maybe I like rugrats. Oh, I think you like power more. I'm right with you on that one. You think you know everything, huh? Well, I think I know why you left your blue-collar Romeo. Don't even go there, Macy. I'm the one to burn for. You know why that is? Because I've got all the toys, and you like to play hard, hmm? Play by the rules. So you have to fan the flame, and then it gets bigger and bigger. What if I prefer the ashes? Hmm. Well, that would make you a very stupid woman indeed, wouldn't it? place has the best Sundays in all of Manhattan. In all of the world? Yeah, my brother and I used to come here all the time when we were kids. Yeah? I used to love this place. Mm. <laughs> Hold it right there. What? Oh, whipped cream? Uh-huh. Mm. Come here. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cute. But um, it's not meant for tip your nose. Your turn. Oh. <laughs> my dad used to take me out for ice cream sundaes every Saturday, and I'd get it all over my nose. Really? Yeah. Sounds like you guys were pretty close. Yeah, we were. He died. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It was a while ago. So how did it go? What? Your interview, how did it go? Oh, Antonio Avanti seemed to like my sketches. That's that designer guy, right? Yeah. 
But he said he had promised the job to someone else. Really? That's a bummer. I think he liked what he saw, though. He said he'll call me in a few days. Yeah, you'll get it. <laughs> what? You will. I got this really strong psychic connection going here. Ooh, psychic connection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it comes and goes, but it's definitely here now. And what is it telling you now? That we're destined to see each other again. Uh, well, not if I get this job. It's in Miami. In Miami? Really? Uh, and that's great. I mean, Miami's a great city. Actually, I used to live there when I was a kid. No kidding. Well, you don't seem too excited about going back. I have serious reservations about it. How come? Well, see, Avanti Fashions just got acquired by another company, Devon International. Really? Yeah. And why is that a problem? Because I would rather dig ditches than work for the Devons. Excuse me, can I help you? Yes, I'm here to see Mrs. Devon, <clears throat> Crystal Tate, Miami Sun. Mrs. Devon isn't available. You'll have to make an appointment. But she has no openings for the rest of the month. Oh, gee, thanks. the new swatches in my hand and in my possession by the end of the day, just consider yourself fired. Oh, I have never met an interior designer who wasn't a bitchy queen. Well, what are you waiting for? My whole body is in knots. Almost killed him, Dylan. I swear, man, if you weren't there, that boy'd be on life support. Well, look, forget about Raider. Guy can't even spell out his own name. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna grab some stuff out of my locker and take a shower. And we'll get out of here. All right, just let me in my locker too. Okay. Hey, Dylan. I uh, I kind of gotta talk. Why? What's up? This whole Kayla thing. For your sake, I'm trying to be her friend, but she keeps blowing me off. Yeah. Sure, so instead you decided to trash her? Thank you so much for proving my point. What are you talking about? She's a liar. She twists things. And now she's got you against me. I'm not against you, Lindy. But you need to understand, there's not some kind of competition going on here between you and Kayla. You don't need to prove anything to me. I'm like, she doesn't have you wrapped around her little finger. I'm not getting in the middle of this. No, don't you see? I'm the one in the middle here. And how's that? Because I care about you. And when I see people like Kayla playing you, it kills me. <laughs> Kayla's not playing me. How can you be so sure? Because I am, OK? I just worry about you. I can take care of myself. But Dylan. Lindy, I'd hate to see something come in the way of our friendship. So just drop it. I wanted to be a designer even before I knew what it was. I used to dress my mom up for all those formal events. <laughs> really? Yeah. So are you like one of those society brats? Have I read about you in the social page or something? I doubt you've ever seen the social <laughs> page. I guess I'm just a down-home boy. Uh-huh. So what are we going to do about this dilemma of yours? We? Oh, yeah. 
I mean, come on, you can't share a monster ice cream sundae with a guy and not be partners by the time you work your way to the hot fudge. This is true. Okay. So how do we change your opinion of your potential bosses? What's their name again? The Devons. And don't even go there. Come on, have you ever even worked for them before? No, but I know they're bad people. A friend of mine trusted Martin Devon, and before you knew it, he stabbed him in the back. Okay, not good, but also secondhand. My friend wouldn't lie. Come on, let me get this straight. You're gonna throw away the career break of a lifetime because your friend doesn't like Martin Devon? <laughs> Come on. Well, I probably didn't get the job anyway. I mean, there's a whole bunch of other jobs, right? Well, not with this Antonio guy, right? I mean, you said he was the best. Yeah, he is. And I really, really want the job. Well then, go for it, Gabby. Come on. I can't. <laughs> Last bite's the charm. Screw the Devons. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Men are so gullible when a woman like Ann Devon gets her hooks in them. Oh, God, a little bit more to the left. I have never had such knots. Mm. It must be very tense for you. Yes. The unmitigated gall of that woman. She parades around my house as if she owns it. Well, she kind of does, I guess, being married to Mr. Devon. She's very elegant looking, isn't she? Hmm. Just between us, it doesn't hurt to have a plastic surgeon under the sheets. Ow! Oh, sorry. Mm. <clears throat> you don't think she's fooling around? <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the first time. What did you say your name was? Fifi. Well, Fifi, darling, I think the idea is to relax the muscle, not make it go into spasm. Mm. Wasn't she married to a senator? Jack Hamilton. <laughs> he was no angel. But I think Anne had him fooled, too. Wasn't he just in the paper recently? Oh, you're talking about the scholarship dedication? Mm-hmm. But I don't know why he was in the news. I mean, the man's been dead for six years. The paper said something about maybe his death wasn't an accident. Well, of course it wasn't an accident. Somebody wanted him out of the way. Hey. hey. What the hell happened to you? Lindy. You know, on second thought, don't even ask. Yeah, it must be real tough being a sex symbol. <laughs> My heart bleeds for you, man. Now, can we just get out of here? I've had enough of this place for one day. Do you want to grab a bite to eat? Uh, sorry, I can't. I gotta go convince Marco to lend me some cash. For what? My budget's tight. I need some more tapes for my camcorder. <laughs> you gotta stop messing around with that, that little thing. I thought you were the next Michael Jordan, not, not Steven Spielberg. Hey, what can I say? I'm a renaissance man. And if you want to give me a hand, I'll give you an assistant producer's credit. Thanks, but if I don't grab a bite to eat, I'm going to pass out. I'll see you later. All right, later. Oh, Spielberg, I'll be at the squeeze if you need me. All right. Jack Hamilton had an appetite for a certain kind of woman. You mean like hookers? Yeah, them too, I'm sure. Now he liked the lost, vulnerable type. He liked to be the savior, loved the hero worship. He met Anne when she was still in college. But they had a happy marriage, right? Oh, I'm sure she knew that he was fooling around. It was a trade-off. All that prestige for just looking the other way. Well, maybe she was fooling around, too. <laughs> Saint Anne, please. She's probably warmed more sheets than an electric blanket. So, um, 
Nah. What? Oh, you think she had something to do with the senator's death? <laughs> well, actually, I always did think that a woman would be Jack Hamilton's ultimate undoing. You know, I'm really starting to appreciate this massage technique. What did you call it, Fifi? Point pressure. Mmm. Uh, so you think Anne, you know, might have <clears throat> had something to do with... Or maybe Anne and someone else. What? What? Um, time's up. Hey, don't stop. What are you doing here? Oh, Vincent, do I always have to state the obvious? Hey, wait! Your tip! Well, I'll request you next time, Fifi! Fifi? She's not a masseuse. She's a reporter that's Crystal Tate. She writes for The Sun. What? I've seen Paul Bears happier than you. What's wrong? I just. I never thought Dylan and I would end up like this. You know? How do you know about Badgley Mishka? I uh, was gonna give these to some deserving soul. So, how about it? Friday night, the Rainbow Room? Well. Did you give my proposal any thought? Yeah, yeah, I did. I think basically Roberto and I are on the same track. Both want Martin out of the way. That sounds like a very equitable proposition to me. 